Did you guys know America hates transgenders? Yeah, and to prove that, all we have to do is look at trillion dollar mega corporations like Amazon. In 2017, before the trans craze really kicked off, Amazon decided they'd do a full frontal nude scene of a transgender actor in one of their prime originals. Why would they do that? And then Apple, they came out with the pregnant dad emoji. Apple added a pregnant man emoji. How progressive. How many pregnant men exist? Even people who believe some men can get pregnant, exactly how many of them are there? A percent of a percent of a percent? But Apple felt it necessary to represent these people because America hates transgenders. Also happens to be the only trillion dollar mega corporation with a gay CEO. And then there's Microsoft. Spends every year talking about how many billions they've donated to LGBTQ plus organizations. Every year they let everyone know they're an ally. Definitely something a corporation in a country that hates transgenders would do. But who gives a rat ass about some American corporations who've gone woke? Am I right, conservatives? I mean, it's not like adding MLK Junior Day to the calendar ended racism. Not in this house. But here's why it matters. American companies make culture. Have you ever been turned down by a woman over green bubble text? I got an Android phone, apparently that's bad or something. <laughs> Dog, we the most discriminated group in America. <laughs> If you have an iPhone, you're racist and you know it. Even Russia, America's best friend forever, has adopted green bubble racism. <laughs> See, the culture American companies create matters. It changes how people act. And what does America do best? Well, besides assassinating foreigners and coup d'etats in the third world, it's exporting our American culture. American culture just happens to be popular everywhere. American culture is so popular that it has become the world's de facto culture. That's why people say America doesn't have cultures because they're so used to American culture. I'm off on a tangent already. But it's because our superior culture gets immediately adopted by the entire world. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long. Everyone loves our TV shows, our movies, our music, and our technology. So when the most valuable and most popular companies in the entire world support transgenders, there are trickle-down effects worldwide due to our culture being adopted by the entire world. George, will you shut up? Okay, everyone say hi, George, since he wants to be known. As I was saying, so when American companies support transgenders, it has become a worldwide positive effect for all transgenders in all countries, even the bad ones. So how can any transgender see this, experience this, know this, and live through this, and yet still think America hates them? Because they're retarded. Because they're selfish buttholes. They refuse to accept that our country has bent over backwards to help them feel accepted. Our president invites them to the White House and tells the entire world these people matter. Remember, American culture has become the de facto culture, and what we say and do becomes popular and accepted worldwide. So when America accepts the transies, the world ends up accepting the transies. <laughs> so how can they see the most powerful man in the world tell the world that transgender people are real and loved, and yet they still pretend that this country hates them? There's no nice way to put this. It's because they're selfish buttholes. I think I already said that. What does it actually look like when your country hates you? It looks like this. It looks like ISIS throwing gays off roofs. I can't even show that image to you, but you can Google it. The majority of the world hates transgenders. They throw you off roofs and they stone you to death. We, the white Western world, give you everything. No black, brown, or yellow country gives you anything close to the freedom or the equality like we do. Here, you can get married and adopt children, all while pretending this country hates you because you're ungrateful. This deeply offends me on how their community treats one of the few countries that accepts them. There's only 12. Don't take that the wrong way. America is the greatest country on earth. Why? Cause freedom. What you believe is real. Regardless if others agree with what you believe, they do support you having the freedom to be your true self. That is the actual America we live in. Haters don't have to like, respect, or even agree with you. They just have to not get in your way. And that's what the majority of Americans do. It's near impossible to film a video in this house with that damn bird. Anyways, in 2022, a total of 32 transgenders were murdered. Not a lot for such a violent country. For some context you weren't gonna like, in 2019, blacks killed over 500 whites. 
but whites only killed 212 blacks. I would use the 2023 numbers, but ever since Biden became president, the FBI stopped releasing these crime stats. I wonder why. So if only 32 of your people are murdered and that justifies your hatred of America, then does blacks killing way more whites despite us outnumbering them six to one allow me to hate blacks? This is called a trap, because the answer is no. But anyways, 81% of the transgenders murdered in 2022 were people of color. And what crime stats show us is that most murders are intra-racial, which is the opposite of my favorite corn category. Someone of your own race is the most likely race to kill or commit any crime against you. I mean, if you're to believe crime stats from libtard media outlets like PBS. So if you just hang around white Americans or Asian Americans, then how dangerous can your life really be? I know transgenders like to think this country hates them, but let me show you this. It's okay to be white is considered a hate symbol. When the diversity officer at Apple, well, former diversity officer at Apple, had the nerve to say that not all white people are exactly the same, she was fired. Coca-Cola once asked their white employees to be less white. Has any Fortune 500 company ever asked gays to be less gays or trans to be less trans? Nope, that's never ever happened. At least not in my lifetime. And what about when this newspaper article came out claiming whites are an abomination and that we shouldn't exist? When's the last time you've seen any news agency publish an article saying LGBTQers shouldn't exist? that you're an abomination. Do you think this country hates white people? Crime stats might make you think that. Can you for just two seconds get over your own victim complex and finally understand why it's wrong for you to think this country hates you? Tangent over, I got distracted. Some states are even passing laws making misgendering a felony and yet you still think this country hates you. I think we've clearly established it's not the country who hates you. Here's what I don't think people consider. Remember when Alex Jones said, they're putting chemicals on the water that are turning the freaking frogs gay. What did he actually mean by that? Atrazine is the most common herbicide used in America and it's having all kinds of negative effects, like lowering sperm count in men. There's also the chemical BPA and it's also having negative effects on humans. BPA is used in almost everything, absolutely everything. It's a chemical found in the most commonly used plastics. It's feminizing our boys and masculine is that masculine. Yeah, I know English. I are good. It's feminizing our boys and masculizing our girls. BPA is a fuck, these words are difficult. I'm retarded. BPA is a xenoestrogen and it's disturbing the natural development of our human bodies. BPA and atrazine are why there are so many trans people these days. Not because we have become more open minded and they've always been here, but chemicals we use to make our food and drink storage safer has had unintentional consequences. It's a suffering from our own success kind of problem. You guys can't see this, but my penis is hanging out right now. Anyways, I don't think anyone who hates their country can improve their country. What are you willing to sacrifice for people who hate you? How much are you willing to suffer for people who think you are evil? If you hate your country, you lack the ability to improve it and you can't make it better. I actually want you to love your country, no matter what country you're from. I want you to overemphasize the good in your country because that's what I want people to live up to. That's what I want people to be rewarded for. Should we remember MLK Jr. for laughing while his friend graped a woman? Or should we remember him for what he did during the civil rights movement? What do we want future generations to aspire to? Some states are banning gender affirming care for minors. I know some people want to view this as barbaric and inhumane, but why are so many European countries also banning it? The good European countries known for their great health care. Did you even look into why these top tier nations have banned minors from chopping off their dicks? Well, it's cause the science shows there is no benefit. There is no decrease in the sewer slide rate of transgenders who've had the surgeries. Plus the overwhelming majority of minors who are left alone grow out of their transgender face. For many, it actually is just a face. Remember, trust the science. Uh, now let's get to the part of the video where I had extra things I didn't know how to fit in. Parents and drag shows. I think most conservatives are overreacting about the drag shows. If you think someone is a bad parent because they bring their kid to a drag show, the drag show is not the thing that makes them the bad parent, and it's not the thing that's gonna ruin the kid. They just are, in fact, a bad parent, and they will find other ways to ruin the kid's life. So, hot take, I guess? A lot of people hold whistleblowers in high regard, like Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, and Chelsea Manning. Now, which one of those has been pardoned by the US president? 
there's that transgender privilege. Look, I don't care who knows this, but I'd go balls deep inside both these women. And I'd only last 10 seconds tops. Average night for me. Obviously, I would go for the Asian first because I'm not racist. Most social media platforms have banned den naming. Imagine the privilege of whiner babies that they get to have big tech bend over backwards for them. Not straight people, the transies. Social media usually holds this special treatment for people like Ukrainian Nazis. Now, this is the part of the video where I shock everyone and tell you that I am in fact trans. I do not identify with what I was born as. I am transgenerational. Millennials are the most disgusting generation that has ever existed, and I'm more identified with Gen Xers, so you should consider me part of the Pepsi generation, the Vest generation, Generation X. Shout out Spice Girls. Have you guys ever gone back and looked at Scary Spice from the 90s? Like growing up, I was attracted to Posh Spice, but as an adult, I saw some pictures of Scary Spice, what she looked like in the 90s. I was jerking off to the wrong Spice Girl.